let's say hello to Olof Wernggren, our next guest. Hello and welcome. My name is Olof Wernggren. I'm here from ManyMade. Um, it's a crowdfunding platform for the Nordic countries focused on culture and the arts that we just started a few days ago. And it's because we want everybody to be able to fund their cultural projects, even if it's a narrow, artsy art book project that, like um, this uh, Amanda Palmer, uh, she uh, funded on Kickstarter, or if it's a wide audience movie production. Um, the background to why we started this site is because we, me and my partner, uh, Mike and Overgaard, we are both um, active, uh, or we have been active in, in various um, parts of, of culture before. Uh, arts, design, filmmaking, etc. And we were really sick of, of all, the, all the red tape and, and bureaucracy and, and like the stuff you have to know somebody to get funding. Um, the Swedish model, who are probably here today, some of them, uh, said or wrote that it hurts when old business models break. Right now, we're at the end of an epoch and uh, at the beginning of another, and the key is moving on. T the key to moving on is to let the old epoch die and the new germinate. And that can only happen if one accepts the new conditions that the internet has brought. Uh, first, a few words about crowdsourcing, uh, which is sort of like an umbrella uh, word uh, about a lot of these phenomena, like open innovation, participatory design, wisdom of the crowd. Um, and really, uh, who coined the word was uh, Jeff Hove in, in Wired magazine in, in 2006. Remember outsourcing? Sending jobs to India and China is so 2003. The new pool of cheap labor, everyday people using their spare cycles to create content, solve problems, and even do corporate research and development. Um, so, for example, every time an x-ray photo is taken and diagnosed and the illness is treated and the patient actually recovers, we know it was a correct diagnosis. Now take all those x-ray photos and make a quest in World of Warcraft where the goal is to diagnose liver cancer for gold. After the players have learned to master this, you can start sending in undiagnosed x-ray photos. If 80% of 100,000 people say it's liver cancer, then that's a better hit rate than if one or two doctors looking at the x-ray make the same statement. So uh, that's how Wikipedia was made, for example. A lot of people spending little time to get a bigger, better result. And now crowdfunding, it, it describes the collective cooperation, attention and trust by people who network and pool their money and other resources together, usually via the internet, to support efforts initiated by other people or organizations, according to Wikipedia. Uh, maybe you've heard of uh, a movie that was uh, recently that just came out here called Iron Sky. Um, it's a Finnish space Nazis from the dark side of the moon movie. Uh, this probably could never have been made if it wasn't for crowdfunding. Uh, I'm, I don't even know how they pitched it uh, when they failed, but it couldn't have been easy anyway. So it makes for narrow culture as well, which is good. Um, there are a few, uh, or quite a several uh, uh, existing sites. Kickstarter, of course, which is the, the mother of them all. Um, Indiegogo, um, funded by me from here. But they are not niched, and so they have a very broad target audience, and most of them are country-specific, like Kickstarter, you need a US bank account, for example. What we do differently is we're exclusively focused on the arts, uh, design, architecture, music, uh, and we focus on the Nordic countries, which means we have sort of a common culture and common heritage and also a uh, critical mass, so we have uh, enough people to, to support the projects. Um, so it's about distribution. It's a way to get your product or service to your customers. It's about dissemination. It's a way to spread your idea to your target audience. It's about democratization. Um, let your users or your future users be part of the development. And also what we do differently is that we uh, use professionals and credible people who are already established somehow um, as curators so they can endorse a project and say thumbs up for this excellent dance show, I know a lot about dance. 
Um, so, um, but there, there are there are many different ways of using crowdfunding. It's not just about the funding, actually. Uh, for example, you can use crowdfunding for pre-production, like Simon Klose did for this the Pirate Bay Away from Keyboard documentary. Actually, ra raising money for the production of of whatever you want to do, the book, the film, the documentary. Um, and then there's uh, crowdfunding as uh, co-creation. Uh, actually involving the audience or your future users in the process of the creation. So um, in this example uh, there was a, a, co a computer game that they wanted developed and uh, one of the treats that you get back was actually to be a character in the, in the, in the computer game. Um, there's crowdfunding as fan building of course which is very important and uh, this guy Mikael Müller uh, released a song for his album uh, one every day for 31 days uh, so that built up a whole hype about it and maybe it reached a very a new audience because of this anticipation and then released the album at the end and then crowdfunding as interdisciplinary crossovers where you can actually try maybe a new form of art that you haven't ventured down before because you don't have the network there or whatever uh, or even like don't the, the treats that you give back don't have to necessarily be a pro product of the, the actual project. Like David Lynch, he donated some art pieces to raise money for a documentary. So to sum it up, crowdfunding, it's alternative marketing, it's co-creation, storytelling, independence, it's new modes of, of development, democratization, and, and above uh, all, to, to put the power uh, in the hands of the creators and the supporters and not the bunch of middlemen. Uh, and if anybody here has any ideas or projects that you might want to get money for or just see the potential in, uh, everything is up there on manymade.org. And if you have a vague idea, please just get in touch and we'll take a dialogue from there. And hopefully, uh, looking forward to looking at your project ideas. Thank you very much.